this is really good punch. <sighs> Nothing tastes better than Hawaiian punch and four months sobriety. That was actually the inspiration for this piece right here. <sighs> this is my most treasured piece valued at about $500,000. I've sold everything else, but this is coming back to my mansion with me. It's too precious. So, um, what's with the goggles? Oh, with these? Mm -hmm. I'm a swimmer. I, I wear these just in case. Never know when you want to take a dip. Neat. Well, while he's doing <clears throat> that, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Maybe even tap a bit. Ooh, sorry, gotta take this. It's my trainer. Mom, this is really not a good time. I'm at a party. No, Mom, you don't need to label my underwear. I do my own laundry. It's not gonna get mixed up with anything. This man is dead. He was murdered. Could you give us more details? Well, based on his stab wounds, I would say he was stabbed. With a sharp object. To death. Okay. Could you be a little more helpful? Hey, I'm still in my first semester of med school. I just live next door. I really don't know anything else. But I can confirm this man was killed in very cold blood by a murderer. Who may still be nearby. Or even in this room. And it was me. So, Gerald, when are you going to confess? Me? You are going to confess. All right, I'm just going to go now. Uh, no, you can't leave until we have this figured out. But I have labs to do. OK, I think that this might be a little more important than your labs, OK? And besides, we don't want Gerald here to kill anybody else. Don't pin this murder on me so quickly. Why not? There are two of us here, and I didn't do it, so you did it. Or maybe you killed him. Yeah, and I know exactly how you did it, too. You were in the bathroom, minding your own business, when suddenly you realized there were no hand towels. In a fit of rage, you burst through the door and attacked poor, innocent, hospitable Herman Hill. You wrapped your hands around his neck and strangled him to death, watching the light slowly drain from his eyes. You had never felt so much power, such a command over life and death in your fingers. He was stabbed. <laughs> what I meant to say was you stabbed him over and over again, feeling the blade of the knife slip through his soft, sensuous skin. I'm on to you. I killed Herman over hand towels. And you would do it again? What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, it says the murderer. Okay. Uh, no, no, Susie, don't go yet. Because this is about to get good. So I went to the bathroom. You grabbed a knife. You killed Herman. That's it? What do you mean, that's it? I mean, that's it. That's your dramatic accusation of me? Where's the imagination, the suspense? Well, see, my version was the truth, so. Okay, let's think about this. If I didn't kill him and you didn't kill him, then.
Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> hey, that painting that was there, it's gone. Oh, yeah, you're right. No, that makes me think. I was just noticing that Herman's hands have oil paint all over them, probably from when he was stroking the painting, which means that the person who stole the painting probably has oil paint all over their hands. Hold up. Let's see what's under those mittens. Ah, oh, nothing. I just gotta get cookies. She did it. But how? So when I was in the bathroom and you were on the phone, Susie came and snuck into the apartment. What? You're being boring again! We're, add some suspense. Okay, Susie came in suspensefully, snuck into the apartment. Better. And so she sees a knife and it shines in her eyes and so she grabs it and she stabs him with it multiple times until he's dead. And then she rips the painting off the wall, the glimmer of greed gleaming in her eyes, knowing that all those pesky student debts are going to be paid off, not knowing that all the evidence was splattered on her fingers. Like a blood rainbow. <sighs> you used your creativity. And you know what? You spoke the truth. And you are... She's... Dang it, just like my mom.